Hi everyone, thank you for watching Access Hockey Michigan. Today we got to sit down with Matt Register, who was signed to the Grand Rapids Griffins in the offseason and has been assigned to the Toledo Walleye, their ECHL affiliate. Matt Register is a Kelly Cup champion as of last season and a three-time defending defenseman of the year. Listen to what Matt Register has to say about the upcoming season and his hopes for making the Grand Rapids Griffins roster. Hi everybody, we're here with Matt Register, uh, three-time defending defenseman of the year and a Kelly Club champion, or Kelly Cup champion from last year. Uh, and we're just going to be discussing a little bit uh, your career up until now um, and the adjustment being in the ECHL as long as you have been. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been the biggest lesson for you coming to Toledo off of, out of Colorado? I mean, has it been, you know, the last couple seasons, has it been difficult? And what's the biggest lesson you've learned? Uh, I mean, so far, I guess... Um it's a whole new culture here for me um, coming in you know obviously not really knowing too much about Toledo um, been in the rink here one time and um, just a little familiar with that on the um, on that side of it but um, just for me I mean it's just 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 a kind of a, a change for me um, you know it's um, you know playing in Colorado two years in a row you know I know what to expect I knew the atmosphere I know all the management staff everything and just coming here it was a fresh mm -hmm. start so it's kind of going to take some time to learn everybody um, kind of what they're about and um, you know what's uh, what's tolerated here and and what's uh, what's you things you can't do around here but um, you know it's uh, so far it's been great what's the the biggest cultural difference is it you know just the type of play is the type of stuff that goes down in the locker room and how everyone communicates or what, what about that is so different um, you know just being new it's um, you know playing with the same organization a couple years in a row you know everybody you know guys coming back you know you have a bond you know winning winning one year and then coming back and and having about half the team mm -hmm. um, returning and um, you know it, it was um, it was great from the start you know it's um, the communications there you know the bonds there right off the bat but um, here it's just been you know a little bit slow start um, just kind of getting to know everybody firsthand I guess and, and kind of what they're about and what they bring to the table here mm -hmm. um, it's going to take some little while to adjust but um, um, so far it's been a uh, the guys seem great here. Mm -hmm. And where do you see yourself in that equation as far as the type of game you have? Where do you see that fitting with Toledo and what can you bring to the team to really impact how they play this year? Um, obviously, I want to bring leadership. Um, being in the league for uh, six years now, um, some American League experience, um, you know, leadership for me, it's um, bring that to the table first, number one, and then also, um, I guess, a, a bit of a winning background um, come here. Um, want to win. I know how to win. And um, haven't accepted anything else but mm -hmm. winning so um you know we're gonna uh once uh next week comes around um some of the the leaders and older guys will sit down and have a meeting and and kind of figure out what our um where we're at here mm -hmm. and um, um kind of what our um the culture is going to be around the room so you kind of see yourself in that position as one of the, like the veteran leaders in the locker room and guiding the younger guys yeah definitely i mean um you know we're in an a last year in colorado mm -hmm. you know it was um first time actually in my career but uh you know it's uh you know it doesn't matter if you have a letter on your jersey or or kind of who you are um your voice is going to be heard by by everyone in the locker room mm -hmm. and um that's kind of what you know the message should be um no matter who you are mm -hmm. um you'll be heard right and your experience in the ahl and if, from my understanding you played with chicago for yep. six games yeah what was that like going up there playing you know getting four points in those mm -hmm. six games and then coming back down did that impact how you played in the echl did it change anything about you um you know going up there um just kind of being able to play with those guys you know no one you know put confidence in my mind that you know i can't play at the next level mm -hmm. i can you know make that jump and and it's an easy jump you know and um you know, going up and down the American League and East Coast, it's tough. But um, you know what? It's 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 also fun. It's part of the game, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it's always nice to have an American League experience and um, just kind of see what that environment's all about up there. And, and knowing you could play and bringing it back down here and um, putting those things that you learn up there back into your game down here, and mm -hmm. um, and then all around, just wanting to get better every day and develop. Yeah. We'll get you the next level and. Um, you know, that's what I, I try to do, come to the rink every day and, and just focus on the little things, work hard, you know, and um, however I can make myself better as well as the team better, um, uh, I'm going to do. Absolutely. All right. well, thank